Jonathan Gregory Brandis was born on April 13, 1976, in Danbury, Connecticut. He was the only child of Mary and Gregory Brandis. When he was two years old, he began his career as a child model for Buster Brown Shoes. His mother stated that he went for the camera early. At the age of four, he started acting in TV commercials, being seen for products such as Kix cereal, Fisher Price toys, and more. In 1993, he graduated from Valley Professional School. Brandis started his career as a child model, then later moved on to acting in commercials, eventually gaining TV and film roles. His acting debut was in 1982 on the soap opera One Life to Live. In 1990, he played Bill Denbro in the TV miniseries It. Brandis has featured in other notable works, such as The NeverEnding Story 2, Sidekicks, and Sequest DSV. His role in Sequest catapulted him into teen idol status, where he received 4,000 fan letters a week, and he had to be escorted onto the set by three studio security guards due to the amount of female fans present. Jonathan is quoted as having said in a 1994 interview, I never perceived myself like this, a teen magazine kid. As an actor, you just hope to continue working. Then when you start getting mail, I sure never knew it was coming. It's not something you prepare for. In 1996, Sequest was canceled and Jonathan appeared in the TV film Her Last Chance. He had roles in various other works, with his last appearance being in, in Puerto Vallarta Squeeze. On November 11th, 2003, Jonathan was found hanging in the hallway of his apartment in Los Angeles. He was transported to Cedar sinai and died the following day from his injuries. Brandis did not leave a suicide note, and his friends stated that he had been depressed about his waning career. Jonathan was reportedly disappointed when his role in the film Heart Swore was significantly reduced in the film's final cut. Jonathan had been drinking heavily and said that he intended to kill himself. Most articles from that time period stated that an autopsy was to be done, though there never seemed to have been a public statement of what the results were. Jonathan's body was cremated and his ashes were given to a family member. He was 27 years old.